everyone, Ed Zan here again. Today I've got these very textured pieces, which I'm going to show you how I made them. It will only be a very quick video, I think, today. But before I do that, I would just like to recap on a video I did, not sure if it was last time or the time before, where I showed you some of the things I've made with the dyed papers. Um, I've made some other things with them and I just wanted to show you to give you some ideas. Um, I've already put these in packs because these will be going in the shop. I'll just carefully undo it and show you. Um, what they are is, uh, I've used the dye papers of which you get six in the pack. And I have this big flower die and I cut out some large flowers and just put one here and a partial one there and then went around the edges with some of this I always call it perfect pearls it's called liquid pearls just went around the edge with that and um, a little bit in the middle just to make a tag and this one um, this is a butterfly die that I cut out the, um, the paper I stuck it onto some card first and then cut out the butterfly and then I ran it through the embossing machine or the, with an embossing folder and then again went round the edges with the liquid pearls and then just stuck some little microbeads down the middle. And this is a big flower with some microbeads and some bigger beads and this is one of those layered flowers where you put one on top of the other. So they're very simple to do, but I, I thought they came out well, they're quite effective. So they will be in the shop as soon as I can get them off to Kerry. And I hope you make some of those with your dyed papers. I made several different ones. That was some leaves. And these I hand painted with some little ovals of uh, cut out paper. Anyway, I just thought it might be another idea for you. Right, we'll get on now to today's video. Shift those. And I've got these interesting bits here. And they're fabric. Well, they were fabric before I started messing about with them. Um, what I think they're great for is they give you an Im immense amount of texture immediately and you can cut off pieces and use them in your journals, just maybe a piece in the corner and blend it in with your other work with tissue paper or just using paint and it just adds immediate texture. Because it's fabric you could actually still sew it but be very careful if you're using a sewing machine as opposed to hand sewing because some of the bits are quite hard in the middle where it's quite intense and it could mean that you might break a needle when you're sewing. But anyway, I'll show you how I did these. I started off with a piece of this fabric. Sorry, it's white on white, but what it is is... Um, it's a polyester, a uh, very thin polyester, the sort of light uh, stuff you use for lining in jackets. Uh, it's very cheap at the, the shop here. Uh, and I'm using white, but you can use any colour, whatever you have on hand. In fact, you can use any acrylic fabric, but don't use ones that are too thick. Um, I'm going to use my heat gun. So I'm just going to put this silicon sheet down on here just to protect a bit. And put the fabric back down. Now you can use your heat gun. I'll use the heat gun, but this will take longer. I've got one of these big paint stripper jobbies and I use that for this because it's quicker, but you can use your heat gun to do it. I'll start off with the heat gun. Please do this outside or in a well vented area or wear one of those um, protective masks. I'm only going to be doing a little bit here so I'm just going to 
hope for the best. I've got all the doors and windows open. Right, so we just got a piece of this which I've torn and I've got the hoop on. It will take a minute because this has to get really hot before you see anything happen. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it's starting to curl up into these amazing patterns. But so you can do as I said with your heat gun, but I am going to use this big one just for the sake of speed. So sorry about the noise. Okay. So what we've got is this fabric which is now kind of all bubbly and in some areas it's got little holes in it where it was overheated but that's fine we can actually make good use of those. So now we've got to that stage the next thing to do is to paint it. And I'm just going to use some acrylic paint first. Might not do all of it. Okay. I'm just going to paint it on like so. You don't have to worry about getting it too much into the nooks and crannies because I'm going to spray it with some water and the water will make it run down into those little valleys. Just one a little bit. Oops, got a big lot. Alright. I'm just going to put that here and there. Not all over. Okay, and then uh, I've got these which I'm going to use, but you could use just paint. These are little tubs of, um, they're called brushos. I think the several companies make them. They're just a, a powder which you use and then you add water. This one's turquoise. It's going to sprinkle the top. You only need the tiniest bit. So you'll see when I spray it. Colour really activates. have a bit of this purple as well. Mm. 
Okay, and it's all soggy, so I'm going to let that run down over the other side, which will create another interesting effect. You can see that happening. You can see how that's gone all like veins there. Anyway, that was just a bonus. Okay, well now of course I've got to let this dry. Not quite my hands. Excuse me. Excuse my hands. I've been dyeing fabrics all day, and my nails and everything are all the colours of the rainbow. Sorry about that. So we'll just move this out of the way and put it somewhere to dry. All right. So that's all there is to it. Once it's dry, you end up with these. Uh, incredible pieces of beautiful texture. You could use either side, but I used the bubbly upside. But the other side is equally as nice. In fact, you can probably see more texture in some of the areas on the other side. So choose whichever side you like the best to, for your journal. I also did a piece of acrylic lace here, which was flat. Uh, and it was white and as you can see now it's it's kind of all um, textured more it, it sort of shrunk a bit and got very bubbly and that that too would look lovely a little piece on a page all right now I've made a big mess um, I love you and leave you and thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time in the next video have fun bye